Hi. Hello. This is the Fenno House. Would you like to come in? Sure. Yeah. This is Fenno House at Old Sturbridge Village. The Fenno House is focused on textiles. When you're processing wool, after shearing the sheep, you pick it, pull apart all the pieces. It's very greasy, so it's all stuck together, and so we want to pull it apart so that then when we degrease it, when we do the scouring process, we want all the pieces, the individual pieces, to be cleaned. Um, and we do that with chamber lay, um, which was the liquid contents of your family's chamber pot that had been fermented. After that, you card it and take out all the tangles. Um, then you can spin it into yarn. Um, typically at that point is when you dye it and then knit it into items that your family would wear. If you were doing wool processing in the 1830s, you would have your own sheep and then you would do the whole cleaning process, picking it, putting it in water with a scouring solution to degrease it. And then once it's been scoured, then the yarn is going, the wool is going in all different directions because it's been put in water, so it just spreads out. So you really can't do anything with it until it's been carded, until it's been brushed out. So taking some of that and just, these are hand cards, um, they're wire bristle brushes, so you can just catch pieces of wool across there and then brush it out. Um, usually you do that at least least five or six times, but really you're looking for it to be completely smooth. And then that is when you can um, spin it into yarn. In the 1830s, not very many people were actually spinning and weaving in their houses. Um, most people were just going to the store and buying yarn and buying fabric from the mills. Um, the few people that were still doing this, um, typically they were old fashioned and they just had done it their whole lives and wanted to keep doing it. They wanted to save money that way. Um, or they might have been doing it to sell it to their neighbors. Spinning was more of something that women were doing. Women were cooking in the morning, so they'd make breakfast, go right into lunch because they had their fire going, um, make that dinner meal, that noon meal, and then from there they'd let their fire go out and in the afternoon was when they would do sewing, knitting, spinning, something like that. In a family, um, the older generations were teaching the younger ones how to do something. So um, the older women might be helping the younger women learn how to do something. It was a very social thing. So especially um, in the afternoons with sewing and with knitting or whatever you're working on, um, ladies would often go to each other's houses. Um, you might plan on having a so more social event, maybe a ladies' charitable society that all of you would bring things to and work on together. Or you might be going over to a sister, a mother, an aunt's house and working on something. Young women are often going to textile mills and working there, usually maybe for five, seven years on average. Um, it was usually between the time that um, she was a teenager and then she got married. So it was usually in the time where um, her fiance or the man that she was interested in was also finishing up some kind of trade um, apprenticeship or something like that. Working at home and doing anything with textiles at home was very different than working in a mill. Um, working in a mill you're doing the same job over and over and it's not um, hand done. 